Uh, I'm John Wrigley. I'm the instructor here at uh, TRU for the automotive department. Uh, we got Joe here and Josh and they're going to do an oil change maintenance on their truck here. Uh, so they do have a checklist that they will be going through and we'll look at it step by step and guide them through it. So this is something that they learn so they can go out in the field and they can right away get to work up for another place, right? Okay, so guys, let's fly it. You can do it, you know, old school. You use a floor jack, then you put jack stands underneath it for safety. And even a big block, a couple of blocks of wood or something, but jack stands are definitely the best. The oil is now draining right now. Uh, so while the oil is draining, they'll go to work. They'll be checking uh, tire pressures right now. So then they'll be uh, checking differential levels, transmission levels all the servicing that is required on an oil change. Just get the oil plug back in. And it's good that they torque oil plugs. If you have never done one before, a lot of times guys figure it's got to be too tight. Mm -hmm. The filter on this is unfortunate, is uh, hanging upside down, so when he takes that off, there is going to be oil come out of it. He'll flip it around quite quickly so he won't lose too much. It's very important to make sure that the O-ring comes off with the filter and that it's clean, the mounting surface, and you pre-lube that gasket of the new one so they don't oh, stick. Me. So while he's underneath there, once he gets that cleaned up, he'll be checking all the hoses, the rad hoses, squeezing to make sure they're soft, not too soft, make sure there's no visible leaks and uh, cracks on the hoses, that sort of thing. He's converting over from uh, standard oil to synthetic, which is all right to do. Uh, you can change back and forth if you want. Uh, synthetic is more expensive, but it is a better grade of oil. A little bit stretched out on the oil changes, so he'll put it in, then he'll start it and fill the filter because you have, the filter is going to hold some oil, right? So you got to start it, let it run for a few seconds, shut it off, and then you then you check your oil level. He'll let it run until he gets oil pressure, then he'll shut it off and check for the level. And it should always be on level ground, you know, warm. Right? So that's where you want to be. It should be up right around this area, Mark. Job well done. <laughs>